We're in Mongo National Park. Woo! You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Morning guys from Mungo National Park, beautiful morning. The kangaroos, they're thirsty man, they're just sipping the water just behind us. Apparently it's a bit dry, but we've got a rainwater tank just behind us, which is really good, you know, we're still using it wisely, so to speak. Now, we had coffee, we had breakfast, and now we're just gonna head off and uh, explore what this park got to offer for my family. So my, if you're looking at this, it doesn't surprise me that this area is one of the WHA or the World Heritage Areas. Of course, man, you know, it makes perfect sense. If you look at this Mungo National Park and the walls of China that goes from basically just all the length of the horizon behind me, it's pretty amazing. inside the Shearer's Quarter. I don't think it's being used anymore. Pretty cool place. Driving to the viewing platform of Walls of China, and it's about 10 kilometers from the visitor center uh, through this corrugated road. I can see the Walls of China from probably almost end to end right in front of me. And because it's so hot, you know, you can see the Walls of China from the distance with the heat from the surface basically. It makes the Walls of China look a bit wiggly from the distance. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me Down the road there's sunshine and light Say you'll go This is called the Red Top Lookout where you can actually get pretty close to the rock formation on this wall of China. See? This is amazing man. I haven't showered by the way. This is why I look so messy. By the way, it's not all about me. I'm gonna tap the background so you guys can see. Yep. That's the walls of China, hey. Pretty cool. Take on me now. You're gonna take some photos here. You're not allowed to leave the boardwalk. So just stick on a boardwalk and we'll be all sweet. <laughs> oh 
we're going on the uh, Mongo tour that we booked last minute in the spare time this is basically how I do the um, file transfer just make sure everything's every single files every single photos that I've taken are accounted on okay fellas so today because the 70 kilometer loop track is closed so we've got a bit of a spare time right because initially we want to explore that 70 kilometer track and then we want to go to the sand dunes it's called the Vigas well but now because we don't do that a uh, bit of free time we're gonna do uh, emu feeding now we bought the a pack of you know emu's food about five dollars yesterday from Mungo Lodge so we're gonna go back there and fit the emu just for fun and then we're, we're gonna go back to our campground have some lunch and later on today during the sunset we're gonna go up again um, to Mungo uh, walls of China and um, hopefully tonight the sky is clearing up and I can actually do some astro photography shots I'm gonna run in two cameras tonight which is the Z50 and the Nikon Z6 Why did you, can you can you do it first? I'm scared. Okay, Brady Mama is going first. <laughs> so Imi feeding everyone, Imi feeding. Is that the sound they make? No, no, that's a bird. Let's look. Oh, see that bird? <laughs> <laughs> so who wants to go first? Baby. Oh, they're really big. They're so big, oh, yeah. man. Look. <laughs> oh, that's gone Daddy? pretty quick. No, 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 it's not. It's Adesia's turn. Go. What? Otherwise, you're gonna regret that. You know. No. No. no just, just, no. just give it to them. It doesn't no. hurt. Come on. Can you feel it? Mana tangan kamu? Mana tangan kamu? It's not even pinching. It's just like. Yeah. Yeah. Jangan dilempar. Mama ready. Mama ready. Come on, the Imi is hungry. The Imi is okay, waiting to be fed by it. Hello. Okay, I'll show you one more time. <laughs> That's how you do it. There you go. YOLO! <laughs> the Imi just wants the food. Tapi serah mukanya. Takut mah. And they poop. Diarrhea. You're wasting my 4K video, mate. <laughs> That's just in your mind. Hey, do you want me to show you yes, one more yes, time? Yes, please. All right, this is how you do it. There you go, mate. That's it. See how easy that was? Oh my god. See? Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> See? Because, because I, I scared too much. <laughs> I can do it, okay? Trust me, please. Close. Come closer. Man, Come don't, closer. don't yell at me. Because you're hurting him. Oh no! There you go. Yeah, not throw it. They're not Ow. gonna catch it. You know they're not circus no. animal. Do it. They do it. Oh, mama! I felt his breath. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kak. Good job. Did it hurt? No. It did not hurt, Kaka. Just being a drama Do queen. No. Do <laughs> Kaka. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> See, I was scared. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. The forecast today it's gonna be like really windy from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. So it is quarter past two now, it's starting to get really windy. Uh, we gotta go for the Mungo tour and the night shot. So we wanna make sure that when we come back, all these two tents are still in place and not blown by the wind or anything. So that's why I'm tying up all these tents and then check all the pegging points. Yeah, fingers crossed, hopefully everything's going well. That should be all right. So that's it. Hopefully they stay in place.
It is very, very windy, but the landscape, if you guys look at behind me, Mongo National Park, it is just bloody, bloody, bloody spectacular. I've never seen anywhere like this in my entire life. But to access this park though, you, you guys need to book a, either a private tour or through the national park because this is actually a restricted area just to protect what's actually out here uh, the legend of Mungo Lady and Mungo Man definitely you know easily one of the oldest men found on earth we just actually went up to the dunes to watch the sun setting just from the horizon and um, it's amazing and who would have thought just behind this walls of China lies big sand dune. I am in Mungo National Park in a red top lookout. For myself, my family is just waiting down there in a car it's uh, just past 11 p.m. it's a bit windy a bit chill I just want to do some astrophotography which is what I love doing however though because the family is waiting in a car so I only got the about half an hour time slot to execute that meaning that I'm not gonna be able to get a time lapse but um, yeah I'll do what I can hey so first things first, I'm just going to check where the Milky Way is. I've checked that yesterday that the core of the Milky Way is actually right on the horizon. So I won't be able to shoot that, but I'm just going to see which angle will be giving the best stars um, lining up. So to do that, I'm using an app that's called the Stellarium. Emu feeding again. Part two. Uh, easy, easy. See, no. even if you just do one, uh -uh. it doesn't hurt you. It's so soft. The more you wait, you're gonna build up your fear, right? The best way to do it is just like close your eyes and then one, two, three, just do it. Come, come, go. Okay. See? Oh, nice, easy done. See, good job, Ade. Give me a high five. Hey, good on you for overcoming your fear, Mike. There you go. See, it's so easy.